What it is everybody, we here at Palm Beach Raceway. We finally got Snow White out here. I just did one quick pass. I did log it, the track was super slick. It quarter miles, about 140 miles an hour and I shifted from first to third because it broke loose. And uh, we're, we're about to go make another rip and uh, finally guys get to see it out here on the track. So about to make another rip and uh, show you the date after. you guys uh, really enjoyed that video there I am notorious for always forgetting to make an outro this video is actually a couple days later actually when I got around to editing this video however uh, we had a good time at the racetrack uh, as always a good time got to hang out uh, with some friends and stuff like that and got to take Snow White out Snow White is still in the trailer so we just have the Z01 and the Trans Am over here in the garage but uh, we still have all the bikes uh, for anyone that's uh, still looking for the BMW it is still for sale but anyway um, the uh, BMW, not the BMW, the Corvette, uh, I was very happy uh, with the trap speed. I was not going for time or anything like that because it was the first time having the car back from having the build done with the motor, with the transmission, and uh, everything else. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was running right because we ran into quite a few transmission issues and I wanted to make sure that we did get all of that taken care of. Uh, that most of all was taken care of. I say we got a little bit of touch-up work to do, but nothing too crazy. It's pretty much dialed in. Uh, I only was able to unfortunately get three runs in. Uh, that's another thing that I want to talk about uh, because I've kind of been spoiled when I always used to rent the racetrack out with Lashway Motorsports or whoever else that I was doing and uh, always had good prep and didn't have to wait in line and we were there for like four and a half hours and only got three runs in. So 
because we were only there for roughly about, you know, four, four, four or five hours or so, however long it was, we did only get three runs. And uh, they were also doing some other uh, event there that was like regular, you know, elimination and stuff like that, that they had always were running that took priority over the test and tune. Uh, so uh, by the time I was actually able to kind of get up there and run, the track prep was, wasn't, to say the least, it just wasn't great. And um, I couldn't uh, really hook at all. Uh, I couldn't even get the car off the converter and go. Uh, they couldn't even get the meth to kick in. As, as you guys saw on some of the runs, uh, it, it, it just wasn't pretty. It just wasn't great. And then I would have to go straight into second or third and then start so low, meaning the car really wouldn't make much boost because it's a centrifugal blower if you start low. And, and then it would gradually go. So pretty much it would go from first gear and then to third gear. And I was able to trap about 145 miles an hour. Um, so that's uh, roughly like a low, mid nine second pass or so. Uh, last time the car trapped about 140 and it did 990s, 10 O's all the time. So we got to do 100, about 145 miles an hour. And uh, that was starting off first spinning with like a 28, 27, 60 foot because there just wasn't any track prep. And, uh, and then I would go from first to third and then and then and go the rest so uh it was funny like one time it was like an 11 7 or like a 12 0 or something like that at like 140 something 100 almost 150 miles an hour so it was pretty funny people were kind of like you know what the hell is going on with that car but again i really wasn't chasing the time i was looking more for the data after having the car run down and and everything else like that so uh, next time we probably go out, uh, we'll make sure that there's actually maybe not a lot of people or I'll just actually rent out the track, but it's not the first time and it won't be the last time that we'll uh, be going there, but test and tune and stuff like that is probably not the best night for uh, that car given it makes uh, high horsepower and stuff like that and it's just really not going to grip without some really good track prep. We did not have it turned all the way up that night. Uh, she was making probably roughly around the 1000 horsepower mark or so, maybe 1100 and uh, when I rent out the track prep and stuff like that and everything goes well, we'll turn it up and uh, we'll see where it'll go. Maybe we can get up to that, you know, 1500 if we can get it to hold down at the track. But uh, everything else went uh, really well and the most important thing is that nothing broke. So I am not completely ass out of a bunch of money because nothing broke, but uh, that's not gonna happen for long. We all know that. So sooner than later, um, we will get the Trans Am out and of course the Z01 out. Uh, Z01 still is bone stock. I haven't modded it or done anything to it yet. Can you believe it? I've had it like a month and haven't done anything, but stuff is coming. Well, we did mod it, we tinted it, but that's not a mod. That's aesthetics and stuff like that. Trans Am will go out again because you all know this thing makes well over 500 wheel on that stock 10 bolt. Everything else is done in the car exactly except the diff. And yes, I know the F body people out there are gonna crucify me. How does it last this long? Especially on 315 drag radials. I don't know, but we all know it's on borrowed time and stuff like that. So that's why it's not gone to the track and it's not going to uh, get launched or anything because I know the second it does, it is going to break, especially in a stick car because the shock of the drivetrain between the shifts and the initial let go of the clutch is much harder than an automatic. But we'll probably take this as well. We could probably take this on a regular street night, not the GSXR. We're talking about this, uh, the ZL1. And I'm going to guesstimate, you know, on those Goodyear tires, we're going to do somewhere in the 11 second pass uh, range, which is pretty on point for this car being bone stock. And then the mods and stuff with the bolt-ons and stuff like that will, you know, shave a second off, you know, mid tens. And that's going to be my daily car driver when I'm not uh, driving my truck. So though the Trans Am and the Camaro will pretty much be neck and neck right around. The Camaro may be a little bit faster after I mod it because of the technology and stuff like that. But no big deal. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, more Snow White stuff to come. I know she hasn't been on the channel for a while, but uh, just been pretty busy laying stuff out and making moves for the next big thing. But stay tuned. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. Peace. Right. Look at the 79 Beetle. Got that 350 nice Camaro. Beautiful Trans Am.
Beautiful. Beautiful. 